Hey y'all, welcome to Positivity with Mandy. I know what's going on in our country is absolutely insane and just know that I am here for you to provide for you in any kind of way. Please let me know if you need any encouragement. I'm really here to shed a positive light on this situation and feel free to ask me questions or DM me. Um, I just wanna let you know that y'all are loved and I'm here for you. I have a great word for today, so let's get right into it. I know that chaos, calamity, uncertainty, fear, panic are all things that are overwhelming us within the globe. But just know all these things are common things that are rising as this virus spreads. I know for a fact that it's really hard to remain calm when you don't know the next step, when there's so much uncertainty. Truth be told, worry does nothing for us. It's literally that little fear. I call them like a fear man, you know, the little devil sitting on your shoulder, but a little fear man sitting on your shoulder, whispering hypothetical things that could happen, but aren't actual reality. When these various feelings overwhelm us, we need to take a step back and realize that we have a choice. We have a choice to choose consciously and mindfully that we have to surrender and realize that this is out of our control. I'm not saying that you shouldn't feel these feelings. All these feelings of anxiety, fear, uncertainty are valid and you should feel them for a moment, but don't let them fester in your heart. They need to dissipate so it doesn't overwhelm your body and dictate your whole life. And like I said, it is out of our control. There are some things that we can do that are within our capability. So let me get right into those. For instance, in no particular order, number one, I really think we need to be checking in on our loved ones and even being kind to strangers around us. I think if there's anything that our, this virus has taught us, it's that we are disconnected. And I think we can really use this time to hone in and cultivate those relationships and really check on the ones we love and tell them how much we care about them and how much we value them. And same with people around us like that we don't know. We need to really show that we care in this time because everyone is struggling and it's affecting so many people. Number two, wash your hands. Please wash your hands. I know this is like normal hygiene. It's so crazy that people don't wash their hands like this. I've always been like this because I'm a germ folk, but we really need to wash our hands for the sake of hygiene and for the sake of not spreading the germs. My grandma used to tell me this, but cleanliness is next to guidance. Number three, don't touch your face. Whatever you want to do, I know it's hard. See, I always touch my face. It's really hard not to do it, but just don't do it. So you don't spread anything to your nostrils, your mouth, your ears, your eyes. Don't do it. Four, limit social media exposure. Um, there's a lot going on. I think sometimes the media, actually all the time, the media is quite dramatic and makes, they exacerbate the situation which it's a huge situation that's going on. But I think we need to be mindful about how much time we consume so we don't overwhelm ourselves and fill ourselves with all that negativity. We don't need that. We just have to stay factual and remember, we just have to remember facts, basically. Number five, why is everyone grabbing all the groceries? Y'all, let's be mindful and not act as an individualistic society. We really need to think of others in these times. Do not hoard grocery supplies. There are people who are just shopping for normal groceries that can't find that. So let's be mindful and think of others and put others first in this time. Thank you. Thank you. Last one, number six, and I'm sure there's many more, but that's all I have on my list. Please practice social distancing. I am sure your friends are not having that much fun. It's not cool to party at this time, y'all. We ain't got time for that. We're trying to heal the nation. I feel like this is a huge pivotal time for our country. We can choose to unify or we can choose to live for ourselves. And I don't know, I want you to make that choice today. I urge you to choose humanity, to choose kindness, to choose servanthood. We as a nation can be heroes. This is your time to shine and be a hero. Simply by sitting at home and just doing your due diligence to the nation right now and the globe. I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who is going above and beyond in these difficult times, like the medical professional, the grocery store workers, and there's so many others to name, but thank you so much for your service and your commitment to humanity. It's really eye-opening and heartwarming and tender to see how the world is coming together to combat this. Anywho, that is it for today. I'm so thankful for all of y'all. I hope you stay safe. 
be well, and remember to wash your damn hands. Be happy, y'all. Let's just do it all together. Fun fact, I was in High School Musical, the play in high school. So we really all, all this too. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Talk to you later. See you next week.